When I look back for the last three years, how we progressed from a continental team to pro-continental team and now our first Grand Tour in the Vuelta, I mean, that's a huge step, especially for an African team with six riders, which are rookies here, uh, who never have done such a big race. And I think we, uh, we made a huge step. To finish the Vuelta España with all nine of our riders, of which six were new to Grand Tour Racing, is incredible. The riders, they wanted to be here, they wanted to respect the, the World Tour invite, they wanted to show that they can survive and, and have the depth to be, to be a team that should be competing at this level. From the beginning we didn't just want to come to the race and be bunch fillers, so we wanted to be part of the racing, we wanted to be in the moves and be part of the results. And it's Lewis Mankeys who goes to the front, the young South African. No doubt they're getting excited, all the supporters of MTN Quebecer. Just maybe it could be a fairy tale ending. Our strategy around the racing was that we wanted to be visible, we wanted to show the talent from Africa. Rensburg is here again, he was in the break, the South African, from uh, yesterday for MTN Quebecer. We sent our riders in the early breaks and they were successful with that. We made it, I think, 10 times in the whole World Cup where we were in breakaways. And I guess having been involved in a couple of breaks which uh, have been significant, Tekla Hamanot and uh, J. Bob Thompson are also in the break here for MTN Quebec. It's the best riders in the world are here and for us to be in the significant breakaways shows the commitment from the riders and it shows that, you know, that we meant to be here. Going forward to 2016, 2017, you know, for us to stay at the highest level in world cycling, we need the UCI points, we need to win the races so that we can, can stay in, in the top end of cycling and, and get invited into the biggest races in the world. We want to get some big names in the team to make sure that we are part of the Tour de France, part of some other big races. On the MTN Quebec, it's building a roster of greats, and Tyler Ferrara has joined the fun as well, Sean. The MTN Quebec, a team with big ambitions. Well, their ambitions is to you know have a big team, capable of taking part in the Tour of France, and they are you know expect next year to get a little wild card for the Tour of France. The riders they're signing, there are you know a lot of big names going there. If it continues on, they will have quite a strong lineup for the uh, 2015 season. We've brought on riders like uh, Edvald Postenhagen from Team Sky, and um, also Reynot Janssen van Rensburg, South African, back from Giant Shimano, back to our team. Tyler Farrar, American rider, riding for Garmin Sharp, has also come on board, and Teo Boss from, from Team Belkin is also joining us. All good one-day riders, really, really fast guys that can, that can win races for us. Going into next year, we, we're growing to, to, to try and step it up, to win more races in the one-days and the classics, to go to the Tour de France, um, we believe the foundation has been built now. We believe uh, the rest of the world of cycling is respecting this African team and, uh, and stay tuned.